Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and today we are going to see my current luxury handbag wishlist. So the idea of this video was given uh, in the comments. I was talking with one of you and um, she was asking about my current handbag wishlist. And since there are quite a few on the list, uh, I thought it's worth making a little video. Um, it's a wish list which is of course always evolving. There are new bags coming out. I buy some of the bags. Um, also, sometimes I just change my mind and some of the bags go out of the wish list. And some I'm also sometimes in between. I'm a bit unsure what to do. Um, and so we're gonna see that now in this video. Uh, both the bags which are now on my wish list as well as a few which now Ciao, bye bye, got kicked out of the wish list. Um, I'm gonna start uh, with a very classic bag. Um, I like classic bags. It's one of the things, if you've seen my Core Luxury handbag collection, you know um, this is just, this was one of goal of mine. I had a few brands in mind and I wanted to buy uh, some of their bags and I got the core, the ones I really, really wanted. I'm done with it and I'm extremely happy. <laughs> but there are still a few other brands uh, where they have also iconic handbags and I would like to add them to this uh, little core collection of mine. Um, so for example, uh, from Bulgari, there is a Serpenti bag. Um, so Serpenti is of course also their jewelry line, which is, I mean, I find it personally beautiful. <laughs> um, but they also have uh, bags and a lot of things. And I really like the classic one. Um, I'm a bit unsure about the color. They have so many variants and, and so many different colors. And it's a bag where at one point I thought it's maybe a bit too much for me. And then I saw it worn in the street once. And also once an influencer I follow uh, was wearing it. And I was like, ah. Oh. No, it's really nice. It has to stay on my wish list. <laughs> and so it's back on it. And uh, they retail depending on the size, the type of leather and so on. Typically between 2,200 and 3,400. So I feel like in the luxury world, it's also something that is still kind of affordable, let's say. So yeah, I'm also a bit unsure about which color I will take, to be honest. So it's in my luxury wish list, but it's not um, the priority number one of my wish list. Uh, I'm gonna come to the priority number one in a, in a short moment. Um, it's really one which is there, and if at some point I have some budget, and um, I see one, I go in the shop, I see one I like, I will go for it. But at the moment, it's not like I saw a specific color, a specific model where I'm like, okay, this is the one. So it's still a bit in standby. I keep an eye on the new releases and so on. And I'm, I'm waiting. I saw once a, a bit darker red, which was looking really amazing. But somehow it was not available online anymore. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I keep my, my eyes open. Um, then another one. Um, which is cheaper, of course, but I don't have one of the bags, is Pollen. So Pollen is, of course, very well known. I guess uh, you've heard about the brand. Uh, they have much more affordable price point. I hear everywhere the quality is amazing. I have friends who have bags from Pollen. I was myself a few years ago in a shop from Pollen with the intention of buying one of their bags. And it was a time when they had only, I think, three or four different models. Now they have a dozen. Um, and I don't know, I tried them and somehow I was not convinced, like the spark was missing, you know, like this, this little, this little something. So I did not uh, buy any of them, but it's definitely something that's still on my list. And every time there really is a new bag, I'm having a look and I'm thinking and ah, I'm hesitating. And, and they have one at the moment, I will put a picture of it here where I'm a bit hesitating again, but I'm not so sure. I think I will wait to see what's keep coming and I might always buy this one in a few weeks or a few months if I really want to buy one of their bags and they did not release anything better, let's say. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I would like something from Pollen. <laughs> I just don't know yet what. Uh, yeah. Then, well, staying a bit with this kind of topic where I like the brand and I'm just now a bit unsure of which bag to buy from that brand. Um, it's Loewe. Loewe? Loewe? I'm never sure how to pronounce that name of the brand. Um, yeah, I, I like what they do. Uh, I like they have this big um, straw bag that you see a lot everywhere in the summer. The, the one from Loewe and the one from Celine are the one you see everywhere. 
they're looking very nice. The thing is, I already own one from another brand, and in France, I don't know, I like a bit the old school, uh, provincial, simple one, which has no brand, nothing, and you buy for 30 euro on the market. Um, I like this one. <laughs> so I did not go for one of the brand names for that. Uh, there was a time I liked the puzzle bag, but then I found out, okay, it's not really a bag that in my everyday life and my style will really fit, so... Mm, and so, yeah, I've been kind of waiting around. Um, I know Loewe, they make very nice collaborations. Uh, sometimes also with uh, Anime, with uh, Miyazaki and so on, they, they did uh, several very nice collaborations. And so I'm thinking, okay, maybe at one point, I might go for a, this kind of thing, a collaboration, which is a bit weird for me because normally luxury handbags, I tend to go for very classic things, which are 100% timeless. But with Loewe, I feel like, it would be worse, I mean, it would be fine to buy one of these a bit limited edition, a bit special collections. And also, although it's luxury and it's definitely not cheap, it's not your uh, kind of prices. So I feel, okay, it could still be fine. And yeah, so I'm, I'm keeping my eyes open for it. I don't know if you've seen the collection. Tell me if you if you have uh, bought any bags from, from Loewe, from one of the special collections, uh, if you like it, if you still wear it. Uh, I would be curious to know how actually it goes through time. Um, let's see. I'm sorry if my, my voice sounds a bit blocked. I've been sick. I've been, the kids have been sick and so on. I'm just barely recovered. Um, and I just wanted, it's been so long that I could sit here and chat with you. So I thought, ah, even if my voice is maybe not the best, uh, I still want to sit here and have a little chat with you. So I'm sorry if my voice is not perfect. Um, yeah, again, I've been a bit sick. Then uh, two new bags, which are actually, I'm kind of hesitating. One is the new one from um, Yves Saint Laurent. It's called the 37. And it retails from between 1,790 and 2,400 from what I could see. There are three sizes. Um, it's new. Um, it just, just came out now. Um, and I saw that the biggest size, the the kind of camel, they call it cognac color, is even made of uh, plant leather, which I find, why not? I mean, it's quite nice, it's more sustainable. Um, and at the beginning, I liked the shape, and when I saw it in the ads and so on, I was like, yeah, but it's not very convenient for me, I need often to have my hands free, and it's just a small handle. And then I clicked <laughs> to, go, to go to the website to see a bit more pictures, and I saw that they actually have a strap uh, to wear it on the shoulder. And uh, this definitely bring, brought it back into the domain of possibilities. <laughs> and the price, I think, is also quite fair. So, yeah, I'm thinking about the cognac one because I don't have a lot of colors. I don't know if they will bring more colors because it's a new bag. So maybe they just test it out and then they will bring new colors. But it's also Yves Saint Laurent, which is not typically doing a lot of crazy colors. So it can very well be that they will stay with these colors. In which case, since it's mostly black, um, this cognac, and they have also um, some off-white uh, color, but I would not go for off-white, uh, not with those prices. So I think I would go for the cognac. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm probably gonna wait a tiny bit to see how it's been worn. Uh, probably some influencer will, will wear it on Instagram, I guess. And I'm just looking to see it a bit tied around and see, um, yeah, if I actually like it <laughs> once it's tied. So um, let's see. Let's see about this one. And then my number one, which I'm almost certain I'm going to buy this year, probably for Christmas. Every Christmas I buy a bag, uh, or not necessarily a bag, actually. I, I buy something, uh, often towards luxury. Uh, as a gift to myself. <laughs> of course, sometimes I ask if some, some friends or some family um, are looking for IDs and I don't really have any IDs. I ask them if they want to participate and sometimes they, they contribute and um, then I just uh, put what, what's missing. Sometimes I also have enough uh, other gift IDs or they have IDs themselves and then I just buy it myself. Um, but it's kind of a little tradition that I've been doing for a few years now and yeah, I find it nice because then it's also, you also associate the bikes to a to kind of a special moment, you know, so, so I like to do it like that. And so I think I'm going to buy this one and I've been talking and I did not tell you which bag it is yet, I'm sorry. It is from Céline, the Sac says. 
um, SAC 16 if you trans back 16 if you translate it and if you saw the video I made where I was asking you to help me choose a handbag I was already hesitating at the time to buy this bag because it's been in my wish list since forever and it was going out and and again in and so on and a lot of the comments of you said, yeah, it's really a nice bag. The thing is, I was looking for potentially a white color and then, no, I will not go for the SAC 16 in white. But guess what? They released it in burgundy. And this is a color I love. And I was like, oh my God, um, this is mine. This is for me. Don't run away. <laughs> and so, yeah, this, this is the number one of my wish list. And again... Touching wood that everything goes well. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it this year um, because they change colors. They often have very very nice colors, um, but they will have the classic colors and then they will have uh, some other bit different colors that might switch. Uh, who knows? Maybe this color will stay permanently. I don't know, but I just love it, and so I'm yeah I'm go I'm getting it. Um, the SAC 16 typically retails for between 2,800 euro in the mini size and 4,100 in the bigger size. I went for the middle size, neither mini neither big, and it retails for 3,300 euro. That's my goal. So yeah, because I know the bigger bag they are often too big for me for my frame for my size and so on. And the mini bags I cannot put anything inside them. Uh, I still need to carry quite a lot. I'm not so much of a light uh, tra packer traveler, especially with kids. So yeah, I think I will go for the what they call I think middle size, uh, which retail for three thousand three hundred. And also I think it's the only color in which the burgundy is available. I, at least it's not available in the bigger size. So yeah. I'm pretty excited. I think I will go in the next weeks. Now Christmas is coming soon, right? But I don't want to go too early um, because then, you know, you have the box and I want to wait for Christmas and then you have the box and you're just like... And then you're looking at it all the time and I'm not good at that. So I can I can hold off for, for, for a few days, maybe a few weeks. I, I hesitated in putting the S there. <laughs> it will still be on the border. Uh, but definitely not one and a half months looking at the box, uh, staring back at me. And no, no. So, But I don't want to wait too long either because if it gets sold out, I'm going to be... I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to see. Maybe... You know, it's always this balance, right? So, let's see. Uh, so that was definitely the number one on my list. And another thing which is on my wish list, and I thought, oh, that could be a good candidate. And then looking at the picture, I thought, actually not. So if you also saw my, my video with my luxury handbag collection, you know I don't have a bag from Prada. And this is also definitely on my wish list. I mean, Prada, right? Um, I know they have very classic bags. Uh, they have the Galleria, for example, that a lot of you suggested me. Uh, the thing is, I already own the 24 from Saint Laurent, which is very similar in style. So I feel it would be kind of a duplicate. And I like to have a bit different style with my bags. Um, they've released now the one they call, or they've released at least new colors, uh, the Arche, uh, which is kind of half moon shaped. I don't own a bag in this shape. It's extremely trendy since a few seasons already. And I thought, oh, why not actually? Something in this bag I liked. Um, there was a lot of ads for it everywhere. Um, and I was like, oh, I like it. The thing is, again, it has to be easy to wear. And I thought, okay, maybe I can put it on the shoulder and so on. And I was looking at the pictures. And I saw it has a strap. So I was like, Perfect, then if it has a strap, it will definitely be good for the shoulder. And I'm gonna put the picture here, how it looks like actually with a strap, and I was like, oh no. I, I don't know what you think, but I find the way they attached the strap to, to this, hand, to this um, handle looks extremely weird. I, 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 I don't know if it's just me. I feel that it's almost strange. And so because they've put a strap on it, I guess it's not so easy to just wear it on your shoulder. You know, at the beginning I thought, oh, but if it's a big thing, maybe you can just put it on your shoulder. But I guess actually it would stay blocked here under your arms. It's probably not so convenient. And so, yeah, I'm a bit sad because it means I'm still on the hunt for a Prada bag. 
um, but yeah this one again at the beginning I thought oh and then no <laughs> so that's uh, I think a good transition to the bag that actually made it out of my wish list it's not so many bags um, it's mostly two actually um, one is uh, from Versace the Medusa bag Again, in um, my video where I was asking you to help me choose a bag, that's also the third bag with which I was hesitating because it's been on my wishlist for quite some time since it came out, actually. Because I found it fun, so many playful colors, and so on. I like the chain, which was also colorful, the same color of the bags, especially when it was in purples or pinks. Um, and some of you had great, great, great comments uh, below. And, for example, saying, yeah, but actually then the chain is plastic which is actually looking a bit cheap and that was a very good point i don't know why i did not thought about this i i guess i thought somehow it was metal painted but now that i'm thinking about it i think it would be hard because the paint would probably chip uh chip off do you say chip off or do you just say chip i mean the paint would go away i guess on the metal because it cannot uh, stick so hard, so much on the metal and then it will very quickly look bad um, so, okay, I guess I understand why uh, they could not do it on metal, but yeah, indeed, I mean, if it's just plastic, yeah, then I don't know. And some of the comments were saying also that apparently the quality is not that good and so on. And yeah, it's not costing 5,000 euro, but it still costs more than a thousand. I think it's at 1,800, something around that. And for that price, you want some quality. I mean, come on. <laughs> when you see that for 1,900, you can have Prada. And Prada is, as far as I know, having good qualities. Then, yeah. So this bag made it out of my wish list. It's like that. I still like the aesthetic, but I'm not ready to pay this price for a quality which is not that good. And if it's all uh, plastic hardware, I mean, yeah, it's 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 a bit uh, too much and for me. And then the other one, if you've seen my recent video about Chanel, they have Chanel bags, like. Chanel as a whole made it out of my wish list <laughs> currently. Not saying it's not gonna come back, who knows what the future holds, but currently, based on what's been happening, based on their price increases, low quality issues, it's out. I know I see a lot of videos, I love to watch YouTube videos, so I'm watching a lot of them, and regularly some of the ones I, I follow, um, they know yeah, they show sometimes their, their latest uh, Chanel purchase. They're like, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I know these bags are so expensive, but look, I, there's still this bag which is under 4,000 and so on. And then they show you a bag which is like basically the size of my pawn. I'm not paying 4,000 euro for basically, I don't know, a teddy bear bag. No, no. I have nothing against mini bag. Of course, it's a vibe, it's a style, it can look very good. Um, but I'm not paying this kind of prices for, for, for this micro tiny bags so Chanel as a whole is just out of there so yeah and I think that's about it guys I think it's already quite good I already have a, a wish list where sometimes I feel it's so long um, I'm yeah I'm gonna keep my eyes open for a few brands like Pollen, Loewe, um, Prada I'm gonna keep keep an eye on them cross your fingers for me for the Celine the Sac 16 that it's gonna work out this year and um, let's see, maybe also the, the YSL. Let's see, let's see. And yeah, please don't hesitate to tell me uh, if you own some of those bags, tell me in the comments below what you think about them, what has been your experience with the quality or anything. I'm always looking for it. I mean, you saw that, um, I mean, I really value your comments and I really like to, to, uh, to exchange with you. And it helps me, like for example now, thanks to you and your comments, you avoided me making a mistake by buying the Medusa. So, so thank you a lot. So if you have any other insight of you, then please, please share them with me. Um, tell me also what's your wish list. What are your bags? Maybe I can also help you. Uh, maybe I own some of those bags so I can tell you my opinion about them. Uh, yeah, let's just have a chat. And I will put here a video in case you have not seen it yet. And if you've enjoyed this one and you would like to see more, you can of course subscribe to my channel by clicking there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.